G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here and uh, before I begin I would like to put out a warning to any traditionally educated fully culturally practicing Australian Aboriginal females in this clip I'm about to display and demonstrate the use of and explain a few things about a bull roarer otherwise known as a Gayandi or a spirit of the Bora Okay, if you're not allowed to know about such traditional things that are male in nature, switch off, go somewhere else. You've got to count of five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye to all of those people who may be offended by looking at a magic spell enhancer. Here we have it. I made this in 1999. I sold them. I used to sell them with a five page owner's manual. I had the permission of the chairman of the regional land council to be doing that because his theory was that if I could explain Aboriginal technology to the white people that would have to be an improvement. Traditionally the Gayandi is oval in plan form and it has a hole drilled in it to accept the string. This one as you can see is not oval it's shaped like a fish. I've painted a fish on it. The whole idea of the fish is to disguise the fact that it is a Gayandi. Right? That's so that it can hide in full view and not offend anybody. Okay. I'm facing true north, right? I'm facing the equator. As far as I know, that's a good direction to face because that's where the sun tracks across the sky and the sun provides all of the energy for all of the life on planet earth right it makes coherent spiritual sense to face the equator to face the ecliptic we make sure the string is centered at least on these things that i make the um the gayandi is going to need to be pre-spun and before i pre-spin it i'm going to stamp my feet three times three lots of three Okay, as far as I know, the idea of that is to alert the um, creator spirit of the universe, what the Aborigines call biomy, to the fact that I want somebody to pay attention to what I have to say. All right, it's no different to the Catholics ringing bells just before they consecrate the host in their communion service because they want God to pay attention to what they're doing too. Okay, so. And then the spinning Gayandi is earthed over this planet, please, Creator. Heal this planet, please, Creator. Creator, heal this planet, please. And then the grounded Gayandi is safe to touch. And that's a fairly harmless magic spell. I can't see how that is going to have too many really vicious sorcerer's apprentice style of backlashes. And it's the one that I tend to use when I want to discharge the accumulated Tumpaniri Murop in any Gayandi when I've been 
demonstrating it. So there you go YouTube. That's uh, a magic spell enhancer that will make your magic spell five times more effective and therefore five times more reason not to be using it. And as you can see, I don't use the Gay Andy very often, so I've blistered the finger in doing it. I hope you appreciate the dedication, tubers of the U. Ciao!